guys, we're back out here with the Esheen E500. I gotta wait till it picks up a little bit here. Let me start the video and then we're gonna take off. Let's do it. Do it. Oh, I think I do have the camera tipped up a little bit too high. <laughs> okay. Flies nice, man. Flies nice, guys. It does do a little bit of that dipping. And there's plenty of lag in the damn video, I can tell you that. But I'm gonna take it down here. Let me put up these fake antennas. Let me see what it says here. Okay. I'm gonna try to get over there to that berm. check them settings again because it looked like I might have hit a a uh, height okay so it doesn't say anything about a beginner mode or anything on like that it just says yeah it doesn't have one of those type restrictions but it doesn't seem like it has very much range I can tell you that right now but it does fly nice so I'll give it that flies great But it looked like it was hitting some kind of uh, a wall there. But of course, it could have been just me losing the. It could have been me just losing the bind, and I was thinking I was hitting some kind of geofence. You know what I mean? See, I'm pushing it straight out, but there's you know there's, there's so much hiccuping on the screen. Okay, it's not hitting anything. Okay, it made it almost all the way out to that. Yeah, you can see that there's nothing. The screen is completely frozen. I'm still able to control the quadcopter, but the video signal is completely locked up. So, So you get out there about 300 feet and it just, the video signal completely freezes.
Really flies nice, man. Really smooth. Smooth as glass. So now we just got to work out this range bug because it says 200 meters. Yeah, you know, that's not happening. Not, not yet. So let's just try to figure out what's going on. Let me try that uh, circle thing again. Remember that thing I tried the other day? Let's hit that again and see what that does. It just turns it around. I don't know what that does. I have to look at the manual, I guess. Boy, I will tell you the... The video, the lag in the video is terrible. It's awful. So I wonder if that has something to do with the 4 or the 5G or the 2.4G. But it doesn't seem to give you a setting on here how to change that. Just not sure. All right, so let's um, okay. Oh, it has the follow me mode, but I'm gonna wait till these people go by with the dog before I try that. Uh, you know these damn toy quadcopters. You know they're not the most reliable. Okay. I don't know who in hell it thinks it's following, but it, it's, it's moving. It's just going backwards. Follow means follow, not to go away from. Unless it's, it, it, it might have one of these things. Okay, as I'm getting closer to it, it's backing up. You see... It's backing away from me. So there's like some kind of halo on it, actually. So at least it's doing that. Not like that Promark thing that almost whacked me in the head. Okay, that didn't have that safety halo on it. Now if I stop, it stops. So it's going to get to that, you know, 25 feet or whatever that is right there. Now if I go away, it should come, it should start coming toward me. Yeah, so it's 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 following me. So that's it's working. Actually, it's working pretty good. Okay, so the follow me works good on here. I don't think I'm going to try the waypoints or anything because I don't really trust it to be honest with you. Okay. So I took it out of there. So the follow me works good. Oh, there's the bottom camera. And it actually changes, it actually changes the view on the fly. So. So that's pretty cool that it actually changes the view on the fly. Pretty decent. So that works pretty good. Okay, so. So then we just got to get this uh, Wi-Fi, this range thing worked out. 
the, the breaking up of the video. We get that worked out, we're in business. Let me go back to these settings again. Gotta make sure it's not drifting away on me. It's still sitting there. No, these settings really don't have anything to do with that, with the Wi-Fi signal. Nope. I don't know what that does. Oh, there's a zoom feature on there. Here we go. Let's do, just, just check out the zoom feature. Okay, so we got the zoom feature up there. Video still recording. I don't know why the hat cam quit out of the blue. But anyway, the uh, zoom feature works pretty good. It says 50 times zoom. <laughs> it's kind of, I don't know if that's really 50 times. But anyway, so there that is. So. At least it works, so we don't want that. Get rid of that. Okay, so now I done screwed up and got that virtual joystick on there and can't get rid of it. Okay, so it quit We're doing the record. Probably when I hit one of those buttons, I just didn't notice it. But we got enough video anyway, so who cares? All right, guys, there you go. We are gonna land it up. All right, so there it is. So we'll have to figure out this one last issue and then I think we'll be good to go, man. All right, guys, there you go. The e Sheen, the classic, the legend, the EX5. All right, man, have a nice day. I'll talk to you later.